uh, aquarium hobbyist and uh, YouTuber. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use um, a regular garden hose and um, an adapter to your uh, faucet, your uh, kitchen faucet or um, bathroom uh, shower faucet uh, to siphon your uh, aquarium. Okay? Uh, don't need to go to the pet store to buy the expensive uh, gadget they sell, they sell at a pet store. Let's go to Home Depot and buy a... If you have a kitchen faucet that um, is near your aquarium, buy a kitchen faucet adapter. Or like my, in my case, I have a bathroom close to my aquarium. So I use a... I buy a... a and I have a shower head, so I buy an adapter that will uh, attach to the the uh, shower hose. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna show you right now. So now we go to the bathroom. Okay. Now we are in the bathroom. This is the um, shower head I have, and uh, I'm gonna. Detach the the shower head. Okay, now now the shower head is detached, and uh, this is the hose. So I'm gonna attach the uh, adapter to the hose. Okay, the adapter just uh, you can see I just uh, screw it right on the faucet. It just screw right in. Okay. And, and the other end to the garden hose. So now, now this is done. So now we come to the aquarium again, and this is the other end of the garden hose. And I'm just gonna put it inside the aquarium. And you need to be sure uh, that something uh, is uh, heavy or secure enough to uh, keep the hose inside the aquarium or when you turn on the water the the hose will not fly all over the place I'll make sure the hose is inside the aquarium and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and turn on the faucet so now uh, turn on the faucet now the the, there's water in the uh, hose. The water coming out from the other end. Okay, and then you make sure your because I we want the, the water to stay in the hose. So you want to make sure the water is on and the the hose is full of water. And then now you can turn off the water. So now uh, you just detach the the hose the shower hose uh, from the adapter, okay? See, now you, your aquarium water is coming out from the garden hose. Because your aquarium water level is higher than the opening of the hose right now. So uh, the water will come out from the, the hose. Uh, the key is that you need to turn off the water Make sure the water is um, the the, the the garden hose is full of water before you turn off the the shower uh, faucet. So the, the 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 water when your aquarium uh, through your garden hose to whatever container you have, which is lower than the aquarium. Okay, that's that just that simple. So now you, you see the water is coming out. So you just dip it run until you uh, have, you think the, the water is enough that you want to change. Okay, so now uh, I have siphoned out enough water that I want to exchange. So I just reattach the uh, shower hose with my uh, garden hose and then turn on the faucet. So the water will be coming out from the, the garden hose, right? 
and then you just can use the shower hose from your bathroom to refill your aquarium okay so so that's it if you don't hold on if there's nothing hold on to the um, hose it will uh, pop out of your aquarium and will make a mess so you want uh, something to hold on to the the, the hose and it will stay make it stay inside your aquarium okay so you can just um, let the water run from your uh, shower hose from your bathroom to refill your aquarium okay I hope this helps you uh, and this is the way I exchange my water so that's it I'll see you next time.